Whole numbers subtracting. Whole numbers subtracting. Single digit. Many people will take five fingers and take away three of those fingers and be left with two fingers. We can also do this using our algebra tiles. Here's five. So those are fives and they all have pluses in them, meaning that there are five positives. And a minus three would be threes with minuses. So you'll see that these are in red and they have little minus signs in them. They're going to cancel out. They're going to cancel out, and all you'll be left with is the two positives, because one positive and one negative, when you're adding and subtracting, is going to cancel out, and you'll be left with two. Whole numbers subtracting multiple digits. Again, you'll see that I have them lined up beautifully. We have it written left to right, top to bottom, and here again, we're going to start from the right and move our way to the left. 7 minus 1. 7 take away 1 gives you 6. 5 take away 4 gives you 1. And 3 take away 2 gives you 1. Whole numbers subtracting. Multiple digits with borrowing. Again, we have it written left to right, top to bottom, and here on the board. We start from the right and we head toward the left, but if you look here, you can't take 8 away from 2. Many students will incorrectly subtract going upwards, but you have to come downwards. So here, 2 is not big enough to subtract 8, so we'll have to borrow. We're going to take 1 from the tens column, leaving two tens there, and adding 10 to 2, which makes that into 12. Some students will cross this out and write a small 12 above here. I'm just going to put a little one there. So it says 12. 12 minus 8. We can do 12 minus 8. I don't have 12 fingers. But we can do 12 minus 8, and we'll get 4. 2 minus 9. Again, some students will incorrectly subtract going upwards because they don't want to borrow. But you're going to have to. So we're going to go to the hundreds. Nine hundreds will now become eight hundreds, and that last hundred will be broken up into a whole bunch of little tens. This is the ten column, so there will now be twelve in the tens column. Twelve minus nine is three, and eight minus six is two. When you're subtracting, you do have to have the larger number on the top. So nine hundred thirty-two is bigger than six hundred ninety-eight. So we do have to write it that way. When you get to the point where they're written in the opposite direction, we'll have to do something else. So you'll see that these are in red, and they have little minus signs in them. They're going to cancel out. <laughs> 